this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to use copy items to queue. That is one of the action of walk queues we view. Let me drag and drop one action. Double click on that. Select walk queues we view. And we have already seen add items to add to queue. Now I am going to show you how to copy item to queue. So the use of this action is we can copy work queue items from one queue and we can write to other, right? It means we can copy the data to the other queues. Inputs will be queue name. This queue name will be the name of the queue to copy the item to. So this will be the your destination queue name and here we can input the priority defer until status item id so item id which we are going to copy from one queue to other so let me show you how to use this copy item so before that we should have a queue and we need queue in one item id then we can pass that item id that data here so that this Action can copy the data from this item ID and write to this queue where uh, we'll enter this queue here. So, for that, we should have a queue. So, here we already have this queue and we have five queue items that walk queue items and we have second queue where we need to copy the data. So, from this source one, we'll copy these walk queue items and we'll write to this one. Right. First, we'll take here walk queues and we'll take here get next item so that we can take the queue item and we can write to this item ID and then we can pass that item ID to that copy queue items so that it can write to the another queue. So input will be the queue name from where we need to copy. So the queue name will be, I have centrics data solutions underscore. So this is the queue name. And here we can pass the key filter, tag filter. If you want to copy only a specific work queue items, you can pass here. So I'm going to leave as it is because I'm going to copy all. Here in the item, we can get all the records like item ID data as a collection. So in the data collection, we'll have all the details which is available in, in that work queue items against each transaction. So currently we just need item ID because we need to pass this item ID to that action. So now just click on copy. Now we have this item ID. So one by one, this get next item will take one by one work queue item. It will store here. And then we'll pass to that. Now we can directly use one action stage to copy this item to queue. But what will happen? It will just copy only one queue items. But we need to copy all the queue items which is available in the first one. So for that, we need to take one decision so that we can run in the iterative way in the in the loop like that so here double click on that we'll write here item found something and here we'll write take this variable item id not equal to blank it means if we have data then if we have data then copy item if no then go to end so we'll take here now we need to again go back here so that we can get the next item and again check and then add here so we can take here uh, one anchor here one anchor here this is just for the decoration like so that we can connect easily and we can decorate this one now it's looking good so here we need to write that condition again so we'll take that walk use 
we'll take second one copy item to queue we have already covered this add to queue you can go through my previous video so here now in the copy item to queue we need to pass the second queue where we need to copy so our second queue name is that should be in the double question queue space 2 i can show you from here queue space 2 now we need to pass this item id that we are getting from this get next item right so we can go to text take this item id here so this input will be passed to that queue and here in the status if you will pass the status any value here in the status so that value will be copied to the new queue if you leave these blanks like tag mask status priority so it will take data from the original queue items and it will copy the same thing let me click on this ok reset this and you can see here we have five records with the status new so while copying that i have not written anything in the status so i'm just going to copy whatever showing in here so let me go here right click set next stage so get next item has given one item id now it will check item id found yes now it will copy that specific that item to this queue so we have copied two items now three items and now let me come to this one so we have copied three eight six eight seven eight eight i think let me refresh that and you can see here so here we are not getting item key because while creating that queue i have not passed same item key which is showing here so that's why it might be that that not copied but the status you can see that is new priority also zero now i'm going to copy these two so before that double click on that and now i'm going to change the status initially that should be like first step something or like in progress like that right so i'm going to just put as a first it means this is the first status so click ok and now step once it will go through this one it will add one more queue items but the status will be now first refresh that reset that now go to this one and now refresh this now we have five records and you can see here two queue items that with the first status and three queue items that that is coming from the original one so we have successfully copied items to queue so by this way you can make a clone of the queue you can directly copy data from one queue items and you can write to other so this is the use of copy item to queue and this action is a part of walk queues v view i hope this is helpful for you if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel and to learn ui path please visit my ui path rpa channel thank you so much for watching this video thanks